BMW has been hitting it out of the park the last couple of years with its small, sporty cars. The BMW 1M was a car that looked killer and had real back-to-basics that inspired a lot of enthusiasts. Then about a year ago, we had a chance to drive the M235, which is soon to be called the M240. At the time, we called it the best deal in the BMW lineup. In fact, it was a bargain for enthusiasts. But now we have a real M car. This is the car. This is what we've been waiting for. But the question is, is it better than the less expensive M240? As the larger M3 and new M4 have grown in size, this is the car that most closely resembles the original M3 from the 1980s. It isn't too big, it has the bulging fender flares and the attitude, but it's all wrapped up in a modern BMW, making it both practical and fun. The M235 and this M2 are not similar in price. The M235 Coupe, or M240 for 2017, starts at just over 45,000 for a rear wheel drive car, and this M2 starts at 61,000. The M240 has 335 horsepower, this M2 has 365. So BMW is charging a large premium to add just 30 horsepower. It's not the same engine as the M3 or the M4. It's a modified version of the same engine that's used in the M240. It's a bit confusing, right? The real objective of this car over the less powerful version is to be a track ready car with a bad boy edge, sold in limited numbers and to be more exclusive. But remember, exclusivity means more expensive. There's not much to talk about in here. There are a few M details here and there, but overall, all the BMWs look the same. Now it's starting to get a little bit boring. Boring, but very functional. This car is about the driver, and the owner can choose between a dual-clutch auto box or a manual. Now the auto box is quicker. Here's the thing. The M240 can make a run from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 4.6 seconds. This M2 can do it in 4.5 seconds with the stick and 4.3 with the automatic. The M240 is sold with all-wheel drive, and that car is just as quick to do the run and can do it in just 4.4 seconds. Now what we can't show you on our street test is the added cornering ability, electronically controlled rear differential, and its track worthiness. If you can't afford the more showy M2, then the M240 might just be a better option. Available with all-wheel drive, it's got just as much power and is less expensive. This M2 isn't as high strung as the other M cars. In fact, it's a really great everyday daily driver. And you know it's an M car because it's super happy when you get it out on the highway and push it. It really likes to be driven. The M2 might just be the new icon for BMW. The M3 and M4 are just starting to get a bit too big. This car is the right size. It looks good and it drives to match its good looks. However, our money's still on the M240. I think it's the best bang for your buck. Looking for a new vehicle? Check out all the models at our new website, drivingtelevision.com.